Hello friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is the next video in PowerShell playlist. Uh, we have discussed so far lot of things in the PowerShell playlist. So if you haven't watched, please watch the previous videos and then come to this video so that you will understand most out of this video. And this video I wanted to majorly focus on explaining if else. Okay, so what is if, what is else and uh, what is else if how to use this in PowerShell to control the execution. So generally right, uh, whenever you want to control something, then you should use this if else statements or conditional statements in the PowerShell. So for example, let's assume uh, the syntax goes something like this. If then here you will have some condition. Okay. And uh, if that condition is true, then whatever you write it there within that angular brackets, it will execute or else whatever it is there it will execute. So that means let's assume here I have some code and here I have some code. So if this condition evaluates to true, okay, then this set of lines will execute or else this set of lines will execute. So basically we are controlling the execution flow. Uh, if something happens, then execute this or else then execute this. So in such scenarios, we will use if else. You might be wondering here we have only two con two states right two blocks right one inside the if another one is inside the else so is it possible to add more code blocks in the same fashion then of course we can do that using the else if so for example if you see this program here what is happening here is there is a variable called status in which abcd value is coming and then we are using if statement and condition we are checking if the value inside the status is equals to minor hyphen eq this is nothing but like a equals to okay uh, if true then this line of code will run else if you can use the else if to add the more number of conditions same way else if this is the second condition if this condition is true then execute this line again i can write the else if again i can write the else if so i can continue like that how many else if i want okay at the end i can write the else if none of the conditions matches then whatever is available inside the else then run that so that's what this particular code is doing so let's try to practically run this and see that so i'm going to visual studio code and here i have a file called testing.ps1 so let's try to create a similar kind of code so what i am doing is i am going to create a variable called status and in this variable i am going to store store a value called minor maybe so let's assume minor okay now what I am going to write, I am using the if statement and syntax goes like this. If open bracket, close bracket, then write the condition. What is my condition? If the value in the status equals to, so equals to, we can use this flag, eq, equals to, if this is equals to minor, okay, then I wanted to print something. So in PowerShell, we can use write hyphen host to print something. So here I can say like status is minor okay now i wanted to write another condition now okay so then what i can do after if i can use the else if and again i can write the condition here so i can say like dollar status the value in the status variable equals to adult okay then in that case what i wanted to do i wanted to print again saying status is adult okay then finally, let's assume these are all my conditions and uh, if none of the condition matches, I wanted to run something. So in that case, I can use the else block and here I can write. So I will write like maybe status is not defined, something like that. Okay, so I'm printing something else or unknown status is unknown. Okay, so now what will happen if the condition is true, if this condition is true, then this line of code will run. If this is true, then this line of code will run. Else it will run. If this is false, then only else if will run. If this is, if both are false, then only else will run. I hope you are making sense, right? If you are from Python or Cisha background, it is similar way how the if else works there. Okay, so now I am hitting control S to save this. Now let's try to run this code. And you can see at this point of time in status variable, we have a value called minor. So if this code runs, it should actually print status is minor. So let's run that. 
so my python file name is testing1.ps1 so i'm hitting enter and you can see the output here status is minor but if i change this to maybe adult okay so let me change this to adult and let me save this now if i run this code here in the terminal you can see that it printed status is adult why because it is adult this condition becomes false and execution will go here and this time the condition is true and it will print status is adult okay and uh, let's assume i have a value called a b c d now let's try to run this and see what will happen now if you see it printed status is unknown why the reason is uh, according to this value if condition is false it will go to if else if and even this condition false it goes to the else and it printed that okay so here it is a hard coded value but if you want to make it dynamic you know that from my previous powershell videos we can make it parameter as well right how to make it parameter i can use that param keyword and then inside that i will create a parameter called status so once i have that so if you see the code now now i have a parameter whenever i am running the powershell file then i should pass value into that parameter right so i will be passing a value according to the value this flow will get control using the if else else if conditions okay so let me do one thing so to run this code what i am going to do so let's try to uh, let's try to run this testing dot testing one dot ps1 then i have to pass a value into the parameter maybe i will pass a value called adult okay now i am hitting enter now if you are clearly observe the output printed saying status is adult okay similarly if i pass some other value maybe minor okay so it will print status is minor you can you are able to see right now similarly let me clear this now similarly if i pass maybe instead of adult and minor i am passing some junk value obviously execution will go in else and it will print status is unknown so you can see that right so it is printing so this is how if else if and else statements are very helpful to control the flow of your program or your script very easily based on conditions i hope you got an idea how if else if and else statements will work in powershell thank you for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button and try to subscribe to the channel so that you will get updates whenever i get new videos okay thank you so much